Pilot Flying J and the Haslam Family Foundation are giving a major boost to Knox County High Schools. A total donation of $1.3 million to the district's 13 high schools will benefit both the marching bands and the classroom. Each high school will receive $50,000 for uniforms and equipment, while another $50,000 is earmarked for academics. In 2015, Pilot Flying J donated $10 million to install new turf football fields and enhance academics at the 13 high schools. A lot of eyes will be skyward August 21st when Tennesseans can see the first total solar eclipse visible in the volunteer state since 1869. U.S. Cellular reminds eclipse watchers to use protective eyewear when taking smartphone photos of the rare event, which will start in East Tennessee around 1.30 p.m. Being prepared, knowing where you want to have your phone, knowing where it should be positioned, is going to be key going into the eclipse. When Young Williams Animal Center reached capacity, the community responded. The shelter set a record with 316 adults options over five days and emptied the cages. Thanks to a grant from Petco Foundation, adoptions were free. Applicants were still vetted and some adopters even made donations. Pets are still available and the August 17th special is $17 for black cats. The Tennessee Theater will host a free open house with self-guided tours this Saturday, August 19th from noon to 4.30 p.m. as part of the East Tennessee History Fair. The Tennessee Archive of Moving Image and Sound will present 1970s film clips, including late Mayor Kyle Testerman welcoming Big Bird. Later at 7 p.m., the theater will screen Buster Keaton's 1926 classic silent film, The General. Sweet Peas Barbecue will host its ninth annual Smokin' Day Fest on Saturday, August 26th at the Soul House in South Knoxville. The event features the regular menu or all-you-can-eat barbecue for $25, plus free music from country, folk, blues, and rock and roll bands. The Mox Car Minute. News for you.